Hi there, welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. I was talking to Tony the other day. I said I was walking through the mall and I walked by a, a place that sells sunglasses. And I noticed that the sunglasses that they were promoting outside on the mannequin, there's only one set like this, uh, only one person in the entire front, and it, the eyes were completely blocked out. And I, I think it's just me. I, you know, sunglasses are great, but I never like it when I can't see somebody in the eyes to talk to them. It's really, for me, I guess I really miss out on that. I think it's a big deal. I was telling Tony that. I don't know if he was that convinced. But I said, you know, it's interesting. Really connecting with someone and talking to them, looking them person to person is a big deal. Uh, it reminds me of the movie Braveheart. Uh, and I think, I can't tell you all the details, but I remember there's a scene in Braveheart where the character Mel Gibson plays is talking to, I believe, a princess about some negotiations. And he says, he says to her, you ask your king these questions and see if his eyes can convince you. And I'll never forget that. I thought that was really true. You know, if you're out trying to make a point, talk to your employees, maybe you're selling a project to a prospective client, there is something about your eyes convincing the person that you're talking to, it's a big deal. So how do we make sure that we do this? Well, you know, in a world of email and phone calls, how do we do this? Well, if it's something very important where you need to be persuasive, then, for example, you need to talk to an employee about a big issue or a promotion or a problem. You need to talk to a prospective customer. You're trying to land a big job. You want to bring yourself into that situation with your proposal or your recommendation and look them person to person, eye to eye. Now, you can't always do that, so sometimes we have to have a phone conversation. So a phone conversation is another level down. Say you can't reach them by the phone. You hate to do it, but you may have to leave a voicemail message. If you can't reach them that way, sometimes we have details of things we have to handle by email. And all those ways are fine. I'm only suggesting to you something you probably already know, I think you might agree, that there's something about talking to somebody one-on-one -on -one and looking them in their eyes that does convince them or not convince them that you're being sincere. Something to think about. Till next time, remember, you can do this. You really can.